Have you ever been out on a casual roam, just going through the neighborhood, and see a base, and you wonder how much it costs to raid? Have you gone inside said base due to an open door, and realize you're closed in and trying to escape? Regardless of the scenario, I'm here to help. Introducing the biggest raid guide in Rust, designed by me. The data for the damage and duration were pulled from Rust Labs, and per their about page, content creators are allowed to publish information from the website freely, as long as we provide a link to the source. And also, I built the decay calculator by using the same formula used in the stream elements chatbox command, exclamation decay. You may have seen this in popular streams such as Posties, Trousies, or Enex. I did not create the calculation myself. I, did not. Oh, hi, Mark. I had to reverse engineer it in Microsoft Excel, but I compared my output to the chatbot command used in stream elements, and the chatbot command is free to use. Anybody can set it up. All you have to do is just add exclamation decay with the formula shown here on the screen to your chat box, and that's pretty much it. I created this tool to be an easy reference guide to all of the experienced players or to any new player that wants to understand how to raid, how much it takes of a certain item from the quantity in addition to the resources that are required to craft it. What I created are the views and the way to get to the rating information faster to help you make fast decisions and make your rating experience better, hopefully. If you don't have Microsoft Excel and you're wondering, how do I get it? Well, it's not a free program. You might be able to get a free trial, but you just have to buy it. I think the version now is Microsoft Office 365. You would just have to go to Microsoft.com and look at their different products to buy it if you want to go that route. If you have other programs that are like Microsoft Excel that can run VBA macros, you might be in luck. But if you don't have Excel, that's okay. I got you guys covered. So in the video, I'm going to put bookmarks of each item you see on the screen here. However, the Decay dashboard shown in the video is only available in Microsoft Excel, so if you do not have the document, unfortunately you won't be able to use it unless you have the Stream Elements custom chatbox command. The tool here is pretty easy. Right when you open the file, click Enable Macros at the top. This will make sure that all the VBA tied to the buttons or images will work properly for you. If you don't click Enable Macros, the buttons and images will not work. All you do is locate your category of interest, find the image you like, so for this case, we'll do AK with Expo Ammo, and click it. After you do that, just like magic, it brings you to this screen, which is the Damage Duration Dashboard. So as you can see at the top, I selected AK Explosive 556, and then it shows different items, the walls, doors or build items, and then placeables. It shows you how much it takes to knock it down, as well as how long will it take to knock it down. And notice on the walls, it'll show soft side first and hard side second if there's something there. And then if you're curious, okay, it takes me 63 bullets to get through a sheet metal door. How many resources is that? Click on the Gib resource count button. And voila, it calculates almost the same view, but instead of showing you how much it'll take, like how many bullets it'll take, now it's telling you how many resources it'll take. It's also worth noting that some of the items in here are not craftable. So when it comes to the resource tab, like if you go to the HE grenade, this is the one that you get from oil rig, um, small or large. And if you click on this, I put a note here, you know, it's not craftable. Or if you pick something like the flamethrower, for example, and you try to find the resource count, I already have it listed here. So flamethrower, it shows you how much low grade fuel approximately you'll need for each one. The other thing to be said about the resource dashboard, it doesn't account for resources on melee, melee throwing attacks, or bows. The reason I did this is, look, if you're going to craft seven pickaxes to get through a wall, it's pretty easy. You can bring up the craft menu in Rust and just see how long it takes. I tried to do more of the heavy lifting with the stuff that's a little bit more complicated that shows all of the different resources you need so you wouldn't have to do all that big brain, you know, power. And the other thing too, if you click on some of these items and you notice that it's populated for some walls or it's not populated for some items, there's two reasons for that. One, it doesn't work. You know, if you if you can't take a hatchet and chop down a, a door, you know, at all, if it doesn't do any damage, you know, that's that's one thing. The second thing is practicality. I want this to be realistic for you. If you're in a situation that you're stuck in a base, if you're thinking about eco-rating something, whatever, 
I'm trying to keep things within two hours. So it's reasonable for you. And it's not like, oh shit, I have to, you know, spend 72 hours picking this out with, you know, 100,000 rocks, even though I don't have 100,000 rocks to begin with. And if you're saying, Bangles, I have 200,000 ammo, regular 5.56, five, and I want to shoot this down. Why don't you show me? <sighs> That's all I have to say. On the resource tab, it's telling you how much you need. So if we're using C4, for example, and my tool is telling you, okay, for a sheet metal door, we all know it costs one C4. One C4 is 1,000 gunpowder, which if you multiply that times two, that's 2,000 sulfur. And then it costs another 200 sulfur on top of that because you have to make 20 explosives. Now, if you look at this and you kind of get the, the sense of, okay, here's your um, damage duration here. And then here's all of your resources. Trying to get everything to fit nicely on the screen is almost impossible if you're adding in components, you know, different items you need to learn and all of this other stuff. So the thing that I want you to take away from this is I'm showing you resources here and whenever it's showing gunpowder, multiply that times two is because that's how much it takes. So if you need a thousand gunpowder, that's 2000 sulfur. It doesn't account for charcoal. I'm assuming you're going to know about that. And then if there's anything additional on top of that, you know, additional sulfur count. So another one would be rocket. For rocket, I know, you know, it's one, it's 650 gunpowder for a rocket. So it's 1300 sulfur plus another hundred to account for the explosives. I'm assuming you know that you need explosives. I'm assuming you know you need to have pipes, whatever. So for the actual items that you need, just use your in-game crafting menu. This is intended to just quickly tell you how much does it take to get through whatever you want? I'm just trying to show you how much it takes here quickly, like how many of the item that you selected, and then quickly from the resource count, how much. If there's any components, high qual, cloth, bones, whatever. I'm just putting it off to you because that's not as difficult because you can see that in the menu in game and it's hard to display visually here in Excel. Now to access the decay dashboard, you can either click the button up top or just click on the tab below that says Dashboard Decay. Right now there's only four types of walls, wood, stone, sheet metal, and armored. And if they ever add any more types, which I'm not sure if uh, Face Punch is going in that direction or not, I'll be sure to come back and update this. Simply select the wall that you want, enter in the HP that you're interested in, and there you go. This is the closest you can get to predicting decay in Rust because it all varies on the tick rate and how far along you are I think it takes like five to ten minutes or so for the tick to happen and that's what decreases the HP of your building item so I was thinking about this and I, what I'm going to do I'm going to put everything in a zip file and I'm going to make this available in my discord all you do is go to the mr. bangles resources category click on raid guide and if you see down here I have the XLSM file which is the macro enabled workbook in addition are the images so if you don't have the document and you just want to download all the images for a quick reference i literally took every single one from this document and converted them to jpeg via photoshop to have a high quality image of the item so you can quickly scroll through your list what you got and then just search it and then just see how much you need one final thing to say with all of these items that you see within the guide here it's a lot of data if you notice something that doesn't seem to add up if it's not right if it's not accurate please message me in discord or put a comment in the video or put a comment in my discord and i'll take a look at it right away thanks again everybody for watching i do appreciate it i hope this reference is something that is going to be very useful for you thanks again everybody enjoy here's the rest of the bookmarks in case you don't have excel or if you don't want to download the images